Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Biology. Today we're going to be looking at the fossil record. This is the final piece of evidence and probably the most important um, piece of evidence in my eyes uh, that shows that natural selection really does exist. Uh, now we talked about fossils in the first video in this unit. Um, we briefly discussed what a fossil is. If you have no idea what a fossil is, uh, you probably want to check out that video, the first video in this unit. Um, but now we're going to be talking about um, how the fossil record actually supports natural selection. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, these are all fossils. This is fossils from, uh, I don't know, I think that's a snail. Okay, so it's probably a fossil from a snail. And uh, this is fossils from some uh, mammal. Now, how do fossils... Uh, what do fossils show us? Okay, they show us these things. Fossils show us that past organisms are different from present-day organisms. Okay, that's a, a very big thing. If you look at the fossils from the past, you can see that the ancestors that lived back then to there are not as the same as the ones we see today, which is very important because scientists at the time thought that, um, especially with Aristotle, Aristotle that thought that species were fixed and unchanging, but fossils clearly show that that conjecture is wrong. Okay. Um, and they also show organisms have become extinct, because obviously we see fossils of organisms, um, uh, but those organisms don't last, or aren't here anymore, so they show organisms are extinct, have, have become extinct, sorry. And they also show how organisms have experienced evolutionary change over time. So scientists have actually collected fossils and made these fossil records, and they've seen things like this. Um, uh, the reduction in size of the pelvic bone of the stickleback fish over time. Uh, due to natural selection. Okay. They also show the origin of a new group of organisms, okay? Uh, this group right here, the cetaceans, uh, which includes whales, dolphins, and um, porpoises, uh, fossils actually showed that um, they gave scientists this hint that they were actually related to deers, pigs, and ca um, camels, and cows, and after DNA analysis, of the fossils, conclusions were made that uh, these cetaceans, whales, dolphins, and porpoises, are um, uh, actually very, very related to even-toed um, ungulates, which are deer, pigs, camels, and cows. You probably would never think that a deer is related to a porpoise, but, you know, it actually is, okay? Um, they also show the change in limb structure over time, you know, just bones and how they've been changing due to natural selection. And this is, I think, probably one of the coolest things. Fossils have shown scientists how life has transitioned um, from land to sea, which is uh, incredible. Uh, but uh, that's it for fossils. Fossils have shown all six of these things. Make sure you know them. But that's it for now. The fossil record is as simple as that.